Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. So today we are taking a look at drum computer and pattern chaining, so how to make a song basically. So the first thing you want to be doing is obviously making a little, a little pattern, <clears throat> like this one. And if we go into sequence here, we can see our pattern. Okay. And if we go into this here, this is where we're going to be making our chain. So at the moment, chain is switched off. Uh, and even if it was switched on, all it's going to do is just cycle through this uh, this pattern here. If we reduce the length here <clears throat> and we just switch chain on and press play, it will just carry on cycling through and then it will go back. Okay, so... Let's stop that switch chain off, okay? Here is where you're gonna be making your new pattern. So if I go to pattern two now, you'll see it change here. Pattern two, and you'll see it's empty. Well, I wanna copy pattern one to pattern two, and I do that by tapping on this little button here, and then the other patterns will flash, and I'll just tap two. And now pattern one has been copied to pattern two, and now we can start making some adjustments to that pattern. So let's do that. Let's put in a few extra hits here and there. Let's go to velocity for this. Maybe put another kick in here. Okay. And now we're gonna tap this little button again Three. And now we're working on pattern three here. You can see we can add some more stuff in. So let's let's put a ratchet on this one, shall we? So a uh, where is it? A roll. Maybe put one on here. Again, we'll tap this and we shall tap on number four, make some more adjustments. And let's do one more, shall we? Tap on this and tap on five and just. Let's vary some of this. Let's vary the pitch on these just by tapping on pitch and hit the dice. And then <clears throat> if we go to pattern six, let's just put some stuff in as a random thing. Okay. Go back to pattern one and stop. Now, Let's turn chain on and let's extend this a little bit, shall we? So let's extend it to its full 16. Now you only have 16 steps here. So, you know, you are kind of limited, but it still adds tons and tons of variation in for you. So let's have the first pattern play twice. And then let's go to this one here and just move up, hold and move to pattern two. And let's hold and move this one to pattern two. And then this one we'll put on pattern three, um, pattern three. And then we'll have like a kind of a fill thing. We'll put that on pattern six. Then we'll have it go back to one. And then maybe we'll have this go to four. And then five. And we'll have it go to five as well. And then four. Three. Oops, I'm gonna say three, two, and then we'll have this do that little kind of fill thing we put in. We'll have it going twice. And this at this point, I'm just gonna go and save and overwrite my pattern, which I've caught my entire project, which I've called chain.
And now when I press play, because chain is switched on, we can uh, run through the pattern we've just built. So let's uh, see if that worked. And then it'll just <clears throat> carry on chaining and repeating for you. Now, if we go back to our, uh, if we come out of this view now and switch on maybe auto two, you'll get a fill every four bars. But you'll still hear our patterns playing. That was cool. What happened then is the auto, let's put auto two on, put a little fill in at that last section. And of course, if you wanted to, you could have this go to pattern seven and there's nothing in there except for a fill, of course. But if we switch fill off, let's do that, shall we? Put it on Remix. Remix just lets you remix it on the fly. So if we go this, when it gets to seven now, there'll be nothing there because we don't have uh, a pattern seven. <laughs> very cool so there you go there's how you do pattern there's how you do pattern chaining you just move along to the next pattern down here and you can have 16 of them move along to the next pattern oh and these are kind of mutes as well you can control all this via midi um it's it's really it's really good actually so just remember to select the pattern you want to adjust and then you can set up your chaining. And if you want to copy a pattern, you hit this, tap the pattern you want to copy, and then you can just copy it like this. And also don't forget that you don't have to have it be sequential. We could have this start on that little uh, sequence, take that back down to one maybe. And uh, yeah, we'll start on that little fill here, which is uh, my play button. awesome stuff and don't forget of course when you're finished with what you're doing hit save save and then when you come back to this so if we go into this one you'll see the, the pattern is slightly different if we go back to our user area now so <clears throat> user we go to chain and we start with our first pattern. It's all been remembered. Awesome stuff. The brilliant drum computer from Sugar Bites. How to pattern chain um, and set up your kind of, it's kind of song mode-ish. Um, you can have, what this does is it just basically, right, if we do this, you work, it, nothing here will change. So the little eye will follow the pattern. We can add some swing. And a bit of humanization. Great stuff. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. And I will see you all later. Awesome stuff. Drum computer and how to set up chain mode.
pattern chaining and kind of like song mode. <laughs> 